Hey everybody, so today I'm going to do a review on this Hart 40 volt brushless backpack blower. For transparency purposes, Hart did send this piece of equipment for me to use and review for you guys, but all of my opinions are my own. I have been using this blower now for about a year, so I have some good experience with it under my belt. But without further ado, let's get into this review. To start off, I'll do a quick rundown of the specifications, then I'll dive into some of my thoughts and opinions about this blower and my general thoughts about backpack blowers. At the time this video was recorded, this blower kit retailed for $154 and includes one 5 amp hour battery and charger. Like all 40 volt heart tools, the 40 volt battery that comes with this blower works with every 40 volt heart tool. The brushless motor provides 625 CFM, which stands for cubic feet per minute, with 145 mile per hour airspeed. This blower has a variable speed trigger and cruise control switch. There is a boost option by the trigger that increases the power for up to two minutes at a time. Once this two minute period ends, the blower will return to its normal full throttle speed. At this time, you can hit the boost button again if needed. There are two battery ports to give you the option to maximize runtime. The number of batteries plugged into the blower at one time does not affect the power, only runtime. With one fully charged 5 amp hour battery plugged into the blower, I found that I was able to get about 22 minutes of continuous runtime at full throttle. This may not seem like a lot, but in my experience, when using a blower, you are rarely using it at full throttle for more than a 30 to 60 second time period. So I found this to be a fairly long runtime, and this runtime can be doubled if you have two 5 amp hour batteries plugged into it. When testing the runtime, I was testing this at full throttle without the boost, so when using the boost, this runtime will be shortened. Like all battery powered tools, an advantage to them is how quiet they are. This blower operates at a quiet 59 decibels. Here's how it sounds next to my gas powered steel blower. to comfort, this backpack blower is extremely comfortable to wear. I have found the backpack straps to be well padded making this blower very comfortable to wear for an extended period of time. Having this backpack blower has made clearing out debris in large areas of my lawn a lot quicker and easier. I have gotten the chance to use this in my lawn during the normal mowing season to clean up grass clippings in the fall to blow leaves. And I even used it in winter to help blow off light dustings of snow as well. I found this blower to be really fun to use in addition to my handheld blower to make jobs go that much quicker. Since I don't have a lot of trees or other plants that drop a lot of debris in the lawn, I do find this blower to be a bit of a luxury and not a necessary piece of equipment for my situation, but I could definitely see this blower being a very useful tool for those who have large lots with lots of trees. This was the first backpack blower I had ever used, so I don't have a ton of experience with gas or electric backpack blowers, but I wanted to mention something that you may want to consider before purchasing any backpack blower. In general, I don't think these size blowers are always the best options when clearing out tight spaces in the lawn or landscaping. For these areas, I would still prefer a handheld blower because I find them to be easier to maneuver in these areas. Additionally, from time to time I will use this to clean up grass clippings after a mowing, but most of the time this blower was a bit overkill for this job so I found myself grabbing my handheld blower instead. Overall I think this is a very good piece of equipment that is built extremely well and I have no concerns of something breaking or wearing out prematurely. I hope I touched on all the things that you were interested to in knowing about this blower. If I didn't, please leave those questions down in the comment section below. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel and you like my content, be sure to subscribe before you leave. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't get equipment like this sent to me to use and review, so I appreciate every bit of support you guys give me. I hope you guys have a great lawn care season, and I'll see you in the next video.